Hello and welcome back. If this is your first time on this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna open up the Sword and Shield base set Elite Trainer Box. I know the Sword and Shield base set has been out for almost a year now. However, I haven't done an opening on any Elite Trainer boxes from this set. And like all Elite Trainer boxes, it comes with eight packs, sleeves, damage counters, a player's guide, etc., etc. I'm not gonna bore you for much longer. I'm gonna open up this guy right now. Slide this open like so, so. As usual, it comes with a player guide. Uh, all the late trainer boxes come with the player guide, so it shows you any cards, it can show you what to look out for in the set. It also has the complete set list of all the cards if you want to collect them all. And we're gonna go into the box right now. Very nice. Love the gold outline. Looks fantastic. Alright, opening the box. As you can see from this top angle, it comes with your condition counters for burn if your Pokemon is burned or if it's poison, etc. Comes with some damage counters, uh comes with some dice. Also, it comes with take this off comes with your dividers. Look at that. Stack of energy cards. Don't need to open that up. Also, it will come with some sleeves with Zemazente right there. And of course, what you've been waiting for is it comes with eight Sword and Shield base set booster packs. So my goal is to get a master set of the Sword and Shield base set. So it's a preview for set. It's got over 200 cards and also has an additional 14 or 15 uh, secret rares in this set uh, that I haven't pulled any of them yet. So maybe I'll maybe I'll pull some today. We are gonna open up this pack first with a Zemazente right on the art. Let's see what we can pull in here. I'm just gonna zip through the cards because the set's been out for a little bit and there's plenty of videos on this set and as well as the artwork on these cards in this set, which I kind of like the artwork. It's very nice. Going to Clubopus, Goldeen, Rosita, Ball Toy, Reverse Hollow. Next card. Oh my god, I got a Lapras V Full Art. Already off to a great start. And then everyone gets one. So here's your code card right here. Enjoy. You get one. Going into the next pack with Lapras. It's just full Lapras. So let's see what's in here. I also forgot. Uh, the best card in the set you want to pull would be the Zacian V, uh, I think it's Secret Rare, as well as oh, Reverse Hollow Sinistee and a non hollow Whimsicott, uh, as well as the Marnie uh, Secret Rare, I think it's a Rainbow, I think it's a Rainbow Secret Rare, whatever. <laughs> Those are probably the two best cards as well as Zemazente V uh, Secret Rare as well. So I don't think I pulled any of those Secret Rares, so let's hope. I pull something. I, the Lapras is very cool. Uh, reverse Hollow Sobble. He is so sad. Stop being sad, Sobble. And a Hollow Frost Moth. All right. Next pack with my boy Zacian. All right. Let's see what we got in this pack. Sea King Ordinary Rod. My this Pikachu artwork is super cool. Uh, Glaring Mammoth, Sizzlipede. Hulu, Fruki, a blip bug, and non hollow Mudsdale. Next pack with Snorlax. Actually, I don't have the Snorlax for the set either. I know you can buy a collection box that has Lapras and Snorlax on it. I just haven't found a store that has it in stock. But once I do find it in stock, I'm gonna pick it up because that seems like a pretty cool box to grab the uh, Snorlax and the Lapras. Uh, reverse hollow Poke Kid. Next card is a more Pico V. I already have this card, but it's still a great card to pull. All right, next pack, we have a Lapras again. There's just a lot of Lapras. There's loads of Lapras in this box. Going into it, let's see what we have in here. Score Bunny, Sinistee, Marac Maractus, Marcactus. Uh, it's a cactus, it's got this move that zit zit yeet that's that move it does 20 damage interesting 
Uh, reverse hollow uh, evolution instance. Last card is a non hollow the ball. Going into the Zenazente pack. Now, at the time of filming this video, um, Shining Fates it will be, should be coming out in about a month, give or take. Um, now, I haven't actually pre ordered anything from that set because A, I can't find any pre orders anywhere. <laughs> Hope I can find some site that I can pre order stuff. So I'll uh, have some Shining Fates to open up because it looks like a really cool set. Uh, let's see, Reverse Hollow Poltergeist. Last card. Oh my god! Ooh! What? Snorlax VMAX? I just pulled a Snorlax VMAX. And I have the Lapras. So, like, I don't even need to buy the collection box for Lapras and Snorlax. I literally just pulled these two in this one elite trainer box. Giant to max. I don't know how I don't know how much bigger Snorlax can possibly get because he's a very large boy. I feel like it's just better pulling cards from a random pack versus just buying them. I feel like buying them you just kind of it's kind of a cheap way out. And the last pack of the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box. Before I get into this, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos, and please do consider leaving a like, subscribing. Uh, more importantly, leave a comment down below because I really enjoy reading your guys' comments. Let's see if we can end on an absolute banger. I'm hoping we can. Sudowoodo, Hop, Pin, Cherry Chin, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Lucinio, Chinchiao, First Hollow Yapper. All right guys, the last card of this video is a Hollow Cinderance. So these are the cards that I pulled from that Sword and Shield base set Elite Chainer box. I got more Pico, Labyrinth, and Snorlax. My favorite card of today is the Snorlax V Max. Look at that shine. That being said, thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.